All right, so as I'm walking along in the woods here, looking for owls, of course, I walk up and there's an owl on the ground, just hanging out. Looks like he's hunting. He has his eye on a gopher or something. He's right in the trees, somewhere right about there. Probably hard to see at this wide angle view. He's totally not afraid of me and he's hunting. So I'm going to try and be quiet and let him continue this hunt, but it's pretty cool. He just uh, seems to not care that I'm here. And now hopefully he'll catch whatever critter he's he's trying to catch right there. And hopefully this means I'm gonna have a great evening here. Have about an hour of sunlight left. And uh, maybe this owl will put on a good show for me and give me some nice opportunities to make photos. Pretty cool. All right, I got a great gray owl over here. It's the same one I saw a minute ago. He uh, he flew up onto a perch over here. And uh, he doesn't seem to be hunting. He's looking around a lot, but he's not looking at the ground, which is a little bit odd, but I don't know what's going on. But so I'm, I'm set up here. He's facing me. So I'm set up right here, ready. Uh, hopefully he's gonna fly straight at me. Um, so I've got my settings and everything ready here in case he decides to take off straight at me because I'd love to get that, you know, coming straight at me. Uh, the bird is in the shade right now and uh, it'll be in the shade for a little while, but then if it comes really close to me, it'll come out into this bright sunlight. So exposure is going to be brutal to deal with in here. Um, so I'm trying out this exposure mode, the highlight priority exposure mode uh, that Nikon has. And I don't use it very often, but I think I'm going to give it a shot here and uh, I'll report back to you on how I think it works. But I think this might be a situation where it could work. Because I think it will give a decent... It'll still be kind of dark in the shadows when it's coming at me, but it'll be decent. And then once it pops into this bright light, I think it's going to knock that exposure way down and uh, hopefully not overexpose the highlights in the bird. So um, I'm going to give that a try. I, I hope it works, but I'm really not sure. I don't use that, that exposure mode uh, very much. So it's, it's been here for about 10 minutes already, and I'm just kind of waiting hoping that it will fly this way. Who knows what it'll do. But I'm in the mood to just wait and see, because if it comes this way, it'd be super killer opportunity. It's also kind of nice just waiting around. You get to uh, just kind of stand in one spot in the forest and listen and get to kind of hear what's going on and look around. Sometimes you'll see other things going on that are cool. So I don't, I don't mind just kind of standing around and being quiet in the forest. Although talking to the camera kind of defeats the whole being quiet thing. So I'm gonna shut up for a while. There's a perfect spotlight happening on the owl right now. So the owl's up on this branch right about where? Right about there. And uh, the light's just kind of moving across as it filters through the forest here and just lit up his face and his body like a firecracker. It's just super gorgeous. Just fantastic light in here tonight. And the owl's just hanging out there. Not doing much at the moment. But maybe, just maybe, it'll start hunting soon. Okay, so 
the bird flew, it didn't fly straight at me, but I think I got some okay takeoff photos there. So that was cool. And I got to kind of test that exposure mode too, which will be nice. And now I got to go try and keep up with the owl. Well, while I'm out here looking for owls, I found this patch of really fantastic hoar frost down here. So there's just all these really beautiful ice crystals that have grown up in, in all this grass. And there's beautiful light on them. Uh, and it's really pretty. I, I only, I brought my uh, 300 millimeter F4 lens here. Um, I wish I had brought a, a macro lens to get into some of these ice crystals are just fantastic. But I am uh, just kind of taking a few minutes here to to try and piece together a nice photograph of these crystals. It's, it's just really beautiful in here. Uh, it's difficult to make order out of all this chaos, but totally worth the time, even if I don't come away with anything. Uh, I love doing this kind of stuff. <laughs> it's fun. But anyway, check out some of these ice crystals. It's just really beautiful. Anyway, it's fun for me. Even when I'm out looking for owls, I, I try and keep my eyes open to other things that are happening out here. And, and this, these ice crystals were grabbing me too. So I made a few photos of them. Hopefully one of them looks nice on the big screen. Just beautiful. Beautiful little details. <laughs>